People are very interested in food nowadays. People who don't even cook even watch cooking shows. And everyone has an opinion on what they should and shouldn't be putting into their bodies. In the past decade, people are becoming more aware of the use of pesticides in our agriculture and making an effort to avoid them. Pesticides are substances used to repel, kill, or control animals or plants that are considered to be pests by using insecticides, fungicides, herbicides, and repellents. There are calls to ban a pesticide with links to Parkinson's disease. I believe that glyphosate in Argentina is causing increases in cancer. You can drink a whole quart of it and it won't hurt you. It's showing a connection between pesticides and autism. It will kill the mosquitoes without worries of a health hazard to people or pets. Common pesticides and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. Any harmful link to humans from DDT has never been found. Exposure to the pesticide DDT may increase elderly people's risk of Alzheimer's disease. Neonics, for short, are harming the bees. We can recommend its use as its application poses no threat to bees. So we wondered, how many people who do avoid pesticides know what pesticides are, and are they good or bad for us? Do you try to avoid pesticides? No. Yes. Not actively. I probably should, but... I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I use that many products, so I don't yeah, use pesticides anymore. Most of the time, yeah. Yeah, totally. Can we live without pesticides? The truth is we can try. Life would be much more difficult. Think about it like this. Where insect and fungal damage destroy about 42% of the world's crops. A world without pesticides, pesticides would result in 70% loss of the world food crop. Taking in environmental factors like droughts or flooding we would face a world food crisis. To feed everyone, we would need a 90% more cropland. Also, we would need to employ a number of laborers to destroy these pests and weeds. Another reason is pesticides can also protect our health. Disease outbreaks are prevented by controlling insects and rodent populations. Pesticides can protect our homes from structural damage by termites. And if you've ever used bug spray, you're guilty of using pesticides. What are pesticides? Something, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Like, I know people put them in their logs and stuff. Okay, so pesticides are used to keep bugs off of produce. Uh, basically a chemical used to keep away pests and kill pests. That's not organic. They're bad stuff, terrible stuff. Don't buy it. It kills invasive foods. Are they good or bad for you? For humans and bugs, I'd probably say no. I know that they're bad for you. You're not supposed to eat them. Why not? They cause some kind of like problem with your stomach, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere in the body you get this harm. In general, probably not super good, but... Why do you think that? Well, you hear reports about like Monsanto and all these different companies and the products that they're using on crops and oh, it's a carcinogen or it's a mutagen or it's this or that. My logic is if they're killing bugs, they're probably not good for me either. When I see pesticides, it's usually like a little poison symbol on it. Because they sound bad. Yeah, because aren't they toxins? Is it chemicals? Because they kill insects. Yeah. They can't be good for you. Repeated contact with even small doses of pesticides can build up in the body. This leads to problems with the immune system, respiratory system, neurological damage, cancer, and the list goes on and on. While it is impossible to rid of pesticides 100%, making any changes can be helpful in the long run to decrease pesticide use exposure with three tips. One, avoid the dirty dozen. Two, buy a local and organic produce. And three, use natural cleaning products. These products can be made at the comfort of your own home. And here's how to do it.